good happy monday morning it is monday we are back in the laboratory in the clinic yes shiny is it the lights it's good lighting though anyway happy monday i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend happy monday morning evening afternoon wherever you may be happy that um you guys are here for the first time you may know that it is a phlebotomy based channel and i come into work where i get ready for the day for the phlebotomist as a phlebotomist phlebotomist slash coordinator um there are lab techs here there are lpns here there are ma's here rns and of course mds and it is a transplant clinic a organ transplant clinic so if you're here for the first time go ahead and subscribe and stick around because i try to touch base on everything from the tubes to the urine cups to the cups for um, stool specimens the tube station everything across the board so yeah um first thing i do is check the station and make sure we have tubes for in the morning so that we can send our specimens over to the main lab because when I say it's a lab it's a lab but it's a draw lab like an outpatient lab it's not the lab where every where the magic happens I should say but for the most part you guys understand what I'm saying it is the lab because we have our phlebotomy areas back here we have four right here where we're usually fully staffed with four phlebotomists and then one sits here in this in that area right there um, and then we have two more which are for the MAs so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and answer this question that I got over the weekend and someone was asking me or telling me and asking me they were telling me that their teacher their instructor doesn't go over order of draw or didn't go over it a lot I guess and I forgot your name but I'll put it down below and um, wanted to know why it was important or is it important because if the teacher's not talking about it you know why should we be concerned so yeah you should be very concerned about your order of draw because if you don't follow it you can compromise test results and I've gone over tests and tubes and we'll do it again but tubes have additives in them whether you see the additive or not some tubes have liquid additives some tubes are sprayed with an additive like the lavender top pur purple top tube um, it is coated on the inside with EDTA and so is the pink top and oops, and the pearl top and we've talked about three these three tubes because um, they can pretty much be interchangeable, interchangeable um, sometimes. So that additive in the tubes, if you're not drawing your order of draw properly, this mixture could get into this test or this mixture could get into this test and ruin, ruin a tube. Um, and we do not want that to happen. And of course, again, this could get into this and then this can end up in this, which is why our order of draw, and I said this into this, but this one is always first, so it doesn't affect this one. But if we do this, <laughs> this could affect this one and vice versa. So that's why these two tubes have tubes in between them so that you don't get the mixture all mixed up. Makes a little sense? I hope so. So what I do, what I would like, I don't know if you, um, the person that asked me this question, are familiar with the order of draw cards, but the company, BD, who designs the butterflies, uh, most of our tube, most of our supplies in phlebotomy, um, we use a lot of reference materials from them and educational materials for those purposes and because they've designed these tubes they know that you should collect them in a certain order so I'll just show you just for the sake of showing you <laughs> I just feel like sticking myself for you all this morning so BD designs the butterfly and we're gonna go right in this arm where we went before and stick and see it you see it 
and we're going to get a flash here in a second. You guys can't ever really see that flat. Maybe you can. And we have our flash. Now, if I'm drawing, if I just need a green top and a lavender top, this is, I'm in primary care, let's pretend. And the doctor needs a CBC and he needs a chemistry panel. I am going to draw properly my green top tube first because there are no additives in this tube like there is in this tube. If I draw my lavender top tube, this is the wrong order of draw for these two tubes. So if I draw my lavender top, now remember it has EDTA in it, right? So it's filling up and you figure, well, how does the EDTA get in the tube? Well, it touches this. And when the top goes on and once it hits, we don't know what's happening inside of that tube. So now I'm going to draw my green top tube. How will I know that these tubes have been compromised? Because the techs are going to call over here. This is the really, really wrong order of draw. The techs are going to call over here and they're going to say, did you draw your green top before you drew your blue top or your lavender top before you blew your you before you drew your green top? They're going to know because they can already tell their instruments have already detected that this EDT this EDTA is in this blue top or this the additive in the blue top, the sodium heparin is inside the lavender top. So it's very important. It's over our heads because we're not techs and of course we're not machines to detect the additives in these tubes, but it's very important to follow your order of draw always. So yeah, I just thought I'd do that um, just to kind of show you that it's really not cool to just fleetingly pick your tubes up and think it's okay to draw them in whatever order they happen to be sitting around. It's not. So if you're, you want the integrity of your work to speak and you want to provide the best care for your patients, please, please, please follow the order of draw. Yes. So that's it for this morning. I gotta go pour a PPs, and that's another thing you guys will get to see if you stick around. Everything that happens up here, which I need to go do because it's 6 a.m. I'm doing better with my time, and I'm gonna go finish that before my camera stops. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Because you know I got some urines in here to dump out. I'll see y'all later. Bye.